Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how I repaired the audio for an old cassette homemade poetry recording from almost 30 years ago. The cassette contains my grandfather's poetry recitations. Personally, I always wanted to publish these recordings as a homage to him, but the audio was really noisy. Give it a listen. Mi canto. No pido tu favor, ni tu consejo. The first step for doing this is getting a cassette player to be able to digitalize the audio. I found this cassette player on Amazon at about $25. It's pretty simple. You can record into your interface or directly into your PC's line input with an 8-inch cable. Once you have your recording digitalized, find a software tool for audio repair. Some DAWs come with these tools integrated. I use Isotopes RX but you can apply the same principles here to your tools of preference. Here's my whole audio file and I'll open it with RX4. This is a spectrogram that is a visual representation of the frequencies and their intensities. The main issue with this tape was noise. In order to remove noise, you need to go to the spectrogram and find a section where there's pure noise. Those parts are usually at the beginning or the end of the recording. In this particular recording, there are almost no pure noise samples and there is constant music and random noises on the background. Fortunately, I found one here. Now you can select it, hit noise reduction, then learn. With this function, the software creates a representation of the frequency content of the noise, which will allow you to remove it from the rest of the recording. Consider that removing loud noises may affect the repaired audio quality, so use the dry wet control to define how much clean signal you want. Find a sweet spot where the noise is minimum and the quality of the voice is not compromised. Then hit process. This takes a couple minutes. Now listen to the cleanup sound. Sounds better. Now back in the DAW, I applied a little more treatment to make the speech more intelligible. First, a low pass filter to get rid of the remaining high frequency noise. Then, an EQ to bring the muddy mids down and make the higher frequencies a little hotter. Finally, I applied a compressor to even the amplitude sound. Here's a comparison of the finished process. Yo canto para mí. Tenlo presente. Y en ello siento fana mi alegría. The audio will never sound perfectly, as the recording conditions were far from ideal. It was made on a cassette tape, in a home recorder, with background music and noise. But I think it improves it a lot and allows us to enjoy the poetry. Thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel.